to form the past perfect tense, use the helping verb had, and the main verb is in the form of a past participle. We use the past perfect tense when there are two past actions. One action happens before another. The action that happens before another action is the one that uses the past perfect tense, where you're using the helping verb had and the past participle. The past participle is the main verb. In order to use the past perfect, you have to know the difference among the simple form of a verb, the past tense form of a verb, and the past participle. Take, for instance, the verb go. Go is in the simple form. The past tense is went, and the past participle is gone. Several people walked into the theater after the movie had already started. There are two past actions. Here and here has started. We put the word already between this helping verb and the main verb. And the past perfect tense indicates what happened first in the past. So the movie started here and then this action walked happens after this. If you don't use the past perfect tense here. Several people walked into the theater after the movie started. That's okay. But to be clear, if you're using the past perfect, that definitely indicates which action happened first in the past. It had rained for several days before the flooding began. Here's the past perfect tense. On the timeline, this is what happens first. So it rained several days, and then the flooding began. You could also begin the sentence with the word before, before the flooding began, it had rained for several days. So it doesn't matter too much which way you begin the sentence the past perfect tense indicates what happened first in time. So I still know that this happened before the flooding began. If you start a sentence like this, make sure you put the comma at the end. This is an example of a complex sentence. Before the flooding began is the dependent clause, and the main part of the sentence 
which includes the past perfect tense. This is the independent clause. You can make the helping verb had negative by adding a contraction. Had plus not becomes hadn't. They hadn't finished their work on time. They hadn't finished their work on time. I could say they didn't finish their work on time, but for some reason I want to use the past perfect, and here it's negative. In some sentences that use the past perfect tense, there's only one verb in the past perfect. For example, she had never been to a store that large. So here's the past perfect. It's negative. And implied here is some action that did not take place in the past. So on the timeline, this is now. This is the, the past. And at this point here, this is when she went to the store. Up to this point, she had never been to a store that large. After this point, whenever this happened, this is no longer true. She had been to the store, and so the situation has changed. The past perfect tense is often used with negative words. So in this example, he had never worked so hard in his life. This indicates that up to some point in his life, this is the past, this is also the past, but up to this point in the past, this was true. But something happened right here where he worked extremely hard and the circumstances leading up to this changed. The past perfect tense indicates that something has changed or something is very different from the past.